Hey everybody, it's Jaren here from GameReact.com. Here we are today in the next-gen version of NBA 2K23, going for the Turning Point achievement. This is to outscore an opponent by 10 or more points in a quarter. Before you get started, make sure you go in to Features. We're going to adjust some settings in order to make things even easier. Head in to Sliders. What you want to do is you want to make sure you crank all of the sliders in your favor. So make sure you left trigger over to User, and then just make sure you crank everything up to 100 so everything that you think that would help you out and then once you have that done just make sure you either left or right trigger over to cpu and then set everything for them over to zero then it's going to be back out and then over to settings we're going to crank the quarter length down to a minute so we don't have to sit through the entirety of a super long normal quarter so make sure you just turn that down and then you can absolutely get this done in one minute quarters once you have that we're going to head over into a play now game this one has to be done in a regular quick play game if you want to make things even more easy you can plug in a second controller and then have them take the position of the other player and then all you have to do is just make sure you get into the game, get the ball on the side who's going for the achievement, and start scoring right away. With those sliders in your favor, you should be able to make the basket from anywhere relatively close to the goal. So just make sure you shoot from about the three-point range. If you want to be a little more efficient, you can always just go for threes. However, you should have enough time to bank up enough shots to put up 10 regardless of your shot selection. Then whenever you have the ball on the second controller, just make sure you turn it over by either running it out of bounds, throwing the ball away, or making sure you commit a basket court violation. Nonetheless, once the ball is back on the side going for the achievement, they're just going to keep putting up points, and then hopefully you manage a 10-point margin over the other controller. And then once you do, all you have to do is just make sure you run the clock out. So this should go by pretty quickly. You're going to need a minimum of four possessions to get this done. So it's going to be three three-pointers and a two-pointer, or you could do any combination of the bunch. But the most amount of possessions that this is probably going to take is going to be five, as it's going to be five two-pointers. Whatever the case, one minute is going to be more than enough if you are going the two controller method, so make sure you take care of that. And then once you put up your 10 points, you can just run the clock out. Just make sure you don't score on the second controller. And the best way to run the clock out is to just run it up past half court and then just hold it until you get a shot clock violation. The ball should turn over if there's still time left, and then you can just run the clock out on the other controller. Or you can continue to score if you really want to. It doesn't really matter. As long as you have more than 10 up on the other controller, you should be good for the achievement once the quarter is over. Thankfully, you don't have to play the rest of the game. The achievement is going to unlock as you are transitioning over to second quarter. So you have that to look forward to, thankfully. But there it is. This one's going to be for 30 gamer score. And that's all there is to it.